Hello at the Spiel 2024 in Essen. We are at the booth of Tudor the Mice. With me is Simone. Hello, Simone. Hi. Hello, everyone. And you, you have several very interesting RPGs here. So why don't you tell us something? Uh, let's start with Household. Okay, thank you. Uh, Household was actually our very first game. Mm -hmm. We started as a little company back in Italy in 2019 with the first edition of Household only for Italian language. Then we managed to bring it to the international audience a couple of years ago. And we actually already set, uh, bring out um, with us uh, Household uh, last year. The Hessen was our, our only game mm -hmm. uh, just one year ago. Uh, Household is a, an original game with an original system. It's a game about littlings, meaning um, People from the little folks, uh, like fairies, that kind of things, were uh, living inside this huge old abandoned house, like, I don't know, borrowers or Ariety, but without any humans left. Okay. Uh, that's the main stuff, because the master of the house disappeared like 100 years before you start praying. So you have this, this society, every room is a different nation, with uh, cities built under the beds, over the chandeliers and such, and every nation has a different culture, uh, inspired by real nation of early 19th century. So you have this, this strange regency, Napoleonic-like era, but with tiny little person. <laughs> and uh, this year we are also bringing Adventures in the Household, which is a conversion of the same game, but for uh, a, a, as a game mechanics we, we use uh, for this conversion, um, the fifth edition of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, because our main goal with Household is to share, to spread the lore and IP as much as possible. So uh, we are happy that even uh, people preferring uh, to play a system they already know, like the D20 system of Dungeons and Dragons, can enjoy all the stories and the characters we have to offer with Household. Yes, and it has very beautiful art. It's true. I agree. Uh, we have here Daniela Giubellini. If you later want to take a look, she's here sketching. We have a main artist in the house who did like more than 90% of all the pictures and the arts you see in both household, adventures in the household, and uh, old salt guns. So, yes, she, she's very talented. And since you mentioned Outgun, why don't you tell us something about that? Outgun is our latest line. We launched it last year and it's an action uh, cinematic role-playing game inspired by great classic of action movie, you know, Die Hard, Little Weapon, uh, John Wick, to speak something more recent. We are very uh, proud of it because this year, a couple of months ago, uh, Outgun won two Silver Annie Awards at Gen Con for Best Game and Product of the Year. And we just launched in May uh, a, a sequel on the campaign to um, for Outgun Adventure, which is the pulp adventure supplement for Outgun. We are proud of this game because our background actually is in cinema. We used to be a, a small production company in Italy back in 2015. Uh, we, do, we did uh, theater production and ser TV series, movies. I, I was an actor, and my colleague Rico was a director and screenwriter. But then, you know, pandemic came in 2020 and more or less leave us without a job. So we, we managed to uh, change our direction towards the role-playing game world. And, and it's always, and it's really rewarding us beautifully. So we are proud to do this uh, as our main occupation. That's great. Um, and also, I see something to your right. What, what is Memento Mori? Memento Mori is uh, unique among the other games because it's the only game we did not um, write and uh, develop ourselves, but it's a game made by a couple of brothers, our friends from Italy too, uh, Andrea Felicioni and Marco Bucci, who actually launched the first edition uh, in Italy of this game uh, right the same years as us with Household. So we, we, were, we became friends because we were under the same publisher at the time. We shared the boots in uh, all Italian conventions and we really like them, we really like uh, the game they made and it's a very dark horror kind of game uh, set in the 14th century during the Black Plague and it's a game about corruption. The, the characters of the game uh, are sick with the Black Plague but the sickness grants them like supernatural powers and the more you use them the more they get sick but they also get more powerful and they know they will die at the end. I mean the name is Memento Mori, remember you have to die in Latin but the goal of the game is very poetic in me. It's for the characters to accomplish their last dream before succumbing to the illness. So it's always a game about how much are you ready to sacrifice of yourself in order to, you know, 
your dream could be you to see your son for the last time or to save uh, your family from some warlord. I don't know. Uh, it's a very, very uh, great game. We, we, we love it. it. It definitely looks very interesting. Yes. Very unique. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what are your plans for the near future? Uh, right now, next month, we are about to launch on Bucket Kids another crowdfunding campaign for Household Volume 2, which is the long-awaited sequel of Household, meaning we will expand the lore uh, and meeting the garden of the house. All the different folks that live there, the story will advance because Household has its, its own chronology, so uh, more historical events, and all our players are waiting because the, the volume two ends more or less with a, with a cliffhanger, <laughs> with a big battle, but we don't know who the, bad, the big bad guy is at the end, so we will uh, reveal it and the story will progress, so I, we have a lot of people really <laughs> eager to know what will uh, happen. Sounds good. So thank you for your time and have a great rest of the fair. Thank you, you too, and thank you. <laughs>